guys, it's Miss Keisha here. I'm coming today to show you guys a quick tutorial on how I created one of the four pastas that I made um, probably about two weeks ago. I posted them on my Instagram page where I made four different pastas using four different um, noodles. Uh, with four different combination of meat and sauces. So on today, I'm going to recreate one of those casserole pasta, pasta dishes. I'm going to do the chicken and bacon with asparagus, mushrooms, and onions. So let's get started. In my saucepan, I have... Probably about two and a half cups of water. I've already sprinkled in some pink Himalayan salt and drizzled in some olive oil. And on today, I'm going to use the pime pasta, in which I got this entire bag for 89 cents. Um, with me and my channel, I want to show you creative uh dishes that doesn't have to cost you a lot of money first of all and um you know things that are quick because i know in this day and time everybody's pressed for time and you look for shortcuts on how you know you can feed your family you know if you're like me you get tired of eating the same thing over and over again therefore you know, you want something different. I'm trying to think. I think I will just use this whole bag. And this is a 16 ounce bag of the penne pasta. And you can use whatever variation of pasta that you're comfortable with. Um, I have like the egg noodles. I have fettuccine. I have bow tie. I have an Italian like corkscrew pasta. There are so many variations out there that um, you can choose from. And as far as the ingredients, you can change the ingredients up as far as what you choose to put in your pasta um if you choose to do all veggies you can all you can always do that um but i make my own homemade vegetable stock this is what this is in here and i'm going to be incorporating that into my dish and i would say this casserole that i'm going to make this pasta dish that i'm going to make today will cost me I would say being that I already had the cheese the, and the onions and some of the herbs not including the spices or the chicken stock this meal cost me less will cost me less than ten dollars to make being that you already have the cheese so and I'm using this large saucepan on today because I want to be able to show you guys how easy it is to make this dish. So my onions, I like to buy like onions and stuff in bulk and then put them in like the one cup serving bags. I hope you guys can see that. And it just makes it easier like when you're cooking. It cuts down on, you know, your prepping and all of that. So I use like half a bag of that. I also have... Perhaps like a half a cup of fresh mushrooms. And 
I'm just making these to, I'm not going to bake it today, but I'm going to just put it all together, put the cheese on top because this is a freezer friendly meal. So you can um, make this ahead of time, put the cheese on top of it and just pop it in the freezer. I like to take a day when I'm off and just create and come up with uh, a few different casseroles being that it is getting cold. You know, you want something warm and, and satisfying to the soul. You know, you don't want to go out. You want to be warm and cozy with your fuzzy socks and blanket. That's me. You know, I like to cuddle up with me a good hot cup of tea, have something good and warm to eat. I'm just going to let that cook down a little bit. And to save time, you can buy like the already pre-cooked chicken. This bag of chicken only cost me $2.49. You know, but if you have um, chicken breast, you know, chicken that you want to boil down. You buy a rotisserie chicken. You can always do that. But on today, I'm showing you like the quickest, easiest way that you can do things. Um, I have a bacon that um, I like to cook ahead of time and just chop it up, put it in the freezer, and it keeps. And like I said, all the fresh herbs and stuff. I generally like to keep, you know, on hand. So I just want this to simmer down a little bit. And you want your you don't want to overcook your pasta because you are going to bake it it's best if it's al dente meaning that um if you take one out and you bite into it that it's not hard but it's it's soft but it still has a little texture to it um that's when it's best because like I said you're going to put this in the freezer or bake it and it's going to cook even more so you don't want to overcook that okay and I have these asparagus that came frozen as you can see I paid 79 cents for these organic cut asparagus and the mushrooms, they were fresh white mushrooms. I paid $1.29 for this container and I only used half for this meal and I have the other half in my little Ziploc bag that I'm going to put in the freezer. Saving money. I'm also going to incorporate some Hunt's Dice Roasted, uh, Fire Roasted Tomatoes. Yeah, I'm going to incorporate that. It was 79 cents a can for this. So the asparagus are frozen. I'm not going to steam them or anything. I'm going to just throw them in the pan with uh, the mushrooms. Yeah, it's hot. It just needs to cook 
a little bit more. It's almost there. And you notice I haven't put any spices in here thus far, other than olive oil and butter. And what I'm doing is just letting the water that was um, on, that was in the frozen asparagus, I'm just letting that cook down. While my pasta do its thing, I'm going to, this is like, not even a whole cup of the roasted tomatoes. I'm going to add that. At this point, I'm going to add some onion powder. And if you're watching in my previous videos, I always say just sprinkle around as if you're decorating. So I went around three times with the onion powder. I'm going to do the same thing with my garlic powder. I'm just going to sprinkle around as if I'm just trying to decorate. I also am adding garlic pepper seasoning twice. I want to add some of my peppercorn blend, fresh cracked black pepper. Turn my pasta off. I'm going to reserve some of the water. Drain my pasta. to add my pasta a little at a time. Don't worry, we're going to get to the sauce and all of that. Let me just One jar of Alfredo sauce. This costs one dollar at the Dollar Tree. We're gonna add a little water to it to the jar. Shake it up because we want all the flavor out of it. I also have a can of cream of chicken soup. I'm just going to add a little. I would say that's like a good two um, tablespoons. Add more seasoning and cheese. I'm going, I'm, the chicken is already cooked, so I don't have to worry about the cooking the chicken or anything like that. Um, when I have everything incorporated the way I like, make sure your pan is big enough, first of all. of this 
just adds more little flavor to what we already have going on. I'm gonna add some fresh chopped green onions. Just a few chives, fresh chopped chives, as well as some fresh cilantro. That look good already. We haven't even added the cheese. I'm going to add some of my Creole seasoning. I know I haven't tasted it, but I can look at it and tell that I still need to incorporate some more flavor to this. want to incorporate everything. Taste it. I still need more seasoning. And then you have to think about that um, your cheese is going to add a little salt to whatever it is that you're cooking. I'll just take that. Now, this is so good. <coughs> Bless me. Oh my gosh, the black pepper, the seasoning. That Creole seasoning will get you. Like I said, I'm not editing this. What you see is what you get, baby. So I'm going to take my Tyson's chicken. And this is the oven roasted diced chicken. I know I won't use the whole bag. You can chop it up or use shredded chicken or whatever. And then it looks like I will be using this whole bag. I'm going to incorporate homemade vegetable stock. This is going to give it more flavor. No, I haven't added the cheese. cheese that I'm going to add to this. It's 
is like half a block. But I want it to be even more creamy, so that's why I'm adding the cream cheese. And of course, if you do not have cream cheese, you could also use just more of the Alfredo sauce. Then I'm going to add the rest of this cream of mushroom soup. I mean, cream of chicken soup. I'm going to add that. Let me put a little water in here. We're going to get all our bits out. Usually I do make this like in a huge pot, but for video purposes, I'm using this pan, which is the largest pan that I have, to try to incorporate everything. And this is like on five. I'm like on a low to medium heat and I'm just going to allow everything like the cream cheese and everything to just incorporate. Like I said, the chicken is already done. I just have to add the bacon and the cheese to this. It's not even been 30 minutes and look what we've accomplished. So while I'm letting that try to incorporate, these are the pans that I like to buy. You get two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I like to use the cake pans instead of the other little aluminum pans with the lids because the ones with the lids are more flimsy. But the cake pans, they're like kind of more sturdy. And this is like a 13.5 inch by 9.84 inch by 2 inch pan. So this is what I like to put my casseroles in. And then I have a big freezer that I can store them in. Or you can just put them in the top of your freezer or keep them in the fridge. Or you can have like a pasta party. You know, you might want to have like, say, four to six different pastas. Have a pasta party. Create four or six different pastas. Invite friends over and, you know, pull out a little card listing um, each pasta and you know, beside each one, they list if they like, what they didn't like, what they would change, you know, and that could help you with creating recipes, you know, get your friends and family uh, input. You know, the holidays are right around the corner. That's something that you and your family can do, you know, around about Christmas time. Say, hey, we're going to have a pasta party. And I'm just letting everything incorporate, which I'm going to have to add more liquid. If I had a bigger, if I had this in a bigger pot, I would have just put more liquid in there and been done. Hmm. Yeah, baby. I'm going to add more. Go around. Garlic powder. 
rain powder. I have a little garlic pepper seasoning left. Go around. Finish that off. And I crank up the heat a little more. So the cream cheese will make it creamy. Remember, we just use, and if you, the cream cheese you can get right now, they're on sale for like a dollar for a whole block, and we just used half of a block. So I'm still hitting at um, under $10 for this meal. And the variation of cheeses that you want to use is according to your preference. I need to clean. I want to add a little more of my vegetable stock. And I know I should have this in a different container. Make it easy to pour, but I just grabbed it out the fridge because that's how I had it stored. You don't want any dry pasta and once you add the cheese, um, the other cheese to it, you know, it's going to absorb the liquid. And those of you may or may not know that my son and daughter-in-law and my new glam baby, well, the baby isn't here, but um, my daughter-in-law is expecting, but my son and daughter-in-law were here for a few weeks, so I've been spending time with them. So I have the Mexican blend cheese that I'm going to incorporate. No, first of all. I'm going to incorporate the Sargento garlic, savory garlic and herb jack cheese. It's a white cheese. And I got this cheese like for $1.49. I'm just going to break it up into bits. It's already in little bitty like snack sizes. I'm just going to break those apart. Put the fire down low and I'm going to incorporate this cheese you know sometimes when I'm creating dishes and then I try to recreate them because I just do them out the top of my head and sometimes I don't write things down I forget okay yeah well I, I added X Y and Z and then sometimes at the last minute, I may just incorporate something that I didn't add when I made it the first time. So, and I feel like food is one of those things that it's whatever your preference is, whatever you like. You can be as, as creative and inventive as you want to be and as you want your dish to be. And nothing is overcooked. Remember, the asparagus was frozen. My noodles, they were al dente, so they definitely are not overcooked. I'm going to add my bacon. Some of these chicken hunks are like huge hunks. So you'll see me pressing down. I'm trying to break some of those up. I want to show you guys how great does that look already? Oh, if you guys could smell it, smell a vision. So now I'm gonna add some of my Mexican, um, Mexican style blend cheese.
You could add pumpkin puree, you know, to create a sauce. Ain't going to waste. Mm. Oh my God. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. I could like just sit down right now with the bowl just like this. Oh yeah, baby. I'm going to turn the fire off. this aside I'm gonna take some of my bacon and this is total total um totally optional you do not have to add bacon but I am so we have chicken bacon fire roasted tomatoes asparagus mushrooms and onions this is a casserole worth cozying up in front of the fireplace in front of the tv you know sitting around family and eating so this is incorporated that is all i'm going to take my pan which has already be, been pre-cleaned um, I want to take like a tablespoon of butter. The last thing that I like to add, just incorporate that in there. But that's just going to add flavor. So, let me see if I can do this. this. This pan is like super heavy. Super, super heavy. I don't get all that goodness out of there. This will definitely, I would say, feed a family of four easily. You see it filled up this whole pan. This costs less than $10 to make, I would say, less than 30 minutes, being that... Um, size pan that I used and me trying to um, explain different things to you guys as I'm fixing this took a little longer but if you're just in the kitchen doing it it would not take you 30 minutes to do and like I said you just top it with more cheese and you want to let it cool completely if you're going to put it in the freezer. Let it cool completely. I would wrap it with like some plastic wrap. And probably put parchment paper over it. If you do not have that, you can just easily just cover it with aluminum foil. Pop it in the freezer. And when you're ready to eat this taking it out the freezer you do not have to thaw it out i would put it directly in the oven with the aluminum foil with nothing on top of it on 300 for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the cheese is completely melted and you see it bubbling then you know that it's ready Okay, and just for garnish, 
I have fresh cilantro. As y'all know, I like presentation. And, oh, it's hot. As you can see, <laughs> there you have it, guys. Let me see if I can move this over. I can't without, but it's still hot. Let me see. So we have our chicken, bacon, mushrooms, asparagus, onions, fire roasted tomatoes, penne pasta casserole. Took us 30 minutes, well less than 30 minutes to make. This is a free, freezer friendly um, dish that you can prepare for your family. And to make this one pan cost me less than $10 to make. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. And I will be posting more videos of different casseroles. One love. Remember to always be careful, be safe, but most important, just be you. And I'm out. Thank you. Bye.